Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Studio Plug and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create beautiful melodies on FL Studio. So um, there's gonna be something more of like emo and sad type of melodies uh, mixed with something more jumpy as well. So this is gonna be a mix of melodies in this video. So uh, before I get started, I do wanna let you guys know that I'm having an end of the year sale at Studio Plug so you guys can go ahead and save at on all the Omnisphere banks, MIDI kits or drum kit and even producer kits that I have available. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. I have the link down in the description below. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. All right, so let's get started on creating some beautiful melodies. So first things first, just take out a piano, make sure that you have a piano out so we can start laying down the melody. Once you have your piano out, just right click on the channel and go to piano roll. I already have my piano roll open up here, as you guys can see. And right after that, just click on the drop down arrow from here, go down to helpers, scale highlighting, and I'm gonna be using the G minor natural scale. So a scale highlighter is just gonna highlight all the notes that are within a scale. And from here, we're gonna start creating a pattern. So. Let's start laying down the notes starting with the bottom notes. And that's what's going to get it all going. After that, just highlight the notes by selecting them. You can push control and click on your mouse and just drag down, then shift and click the highlighted note and then push control up two times. From there, we're gonna start moving up a pattern. So skip a highlighted note and then click on a highlighted note. The dark notes do not matter. So from here, I'm just starting off with the D sharp and I'm ending it at a D sharp. Same thing with the D here, I'll end it at a D. And now I'm going to move the second note over and I have the, my magnet set to half beat so you could just move it over one half beat and I'm going to close it in and then with the last note I'm just going to drag it over one beat. Now we can click on the magnet tool again and this time go to half step and start creating some melodies on top. Once we have the notes down, you guys can go ahead and start transposing if you guys would like to have it um, in a higher key or a lower key. So I'm just going to transpose it five times. And you can just transpose the notes by clicking shift up or shift down with the down arrow or up arrow.
All right, let's create one more. I'm gonna bring the velocity up. duplicate them and then we're gonna push control down two times and I'm gonna transpose the notes um, about three notes down so I'm just gonna push shift down Alt S to strum it like we did before and then if you want to save your own MIDI you guys can push Control shift M go to whatever folder you want and just name it whatever you like like for instance mine's is Apollo G folder I'm working on and I'll just name it Apollo G 28 and when I'm ready to name my full MIDI kit I'll just rename it anyway I'm gonna delete it and work on one last one And you guys can see I'm always following the pattern. You guys don't necessarily have to do this all the time, but this is a good way to start. And I'm highlighting the middle notes also, and I'm gonna push control up to bring them up one octave. Then I highlighted the bottom notes, shift click, and I'm bringing down two octaves by pushing control down.
And from here, we could also start bringing in some note notes in within the chord. And then we're going to push Alt S to strum it, shift down to transpose it two keys down. And that's how you pretty much create some nice melodies on FL Studio. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, give me some feedback, let me know what you guys like to see next. And I'll try my best to push it out for you guys. But anyways, that is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.